Next, what we want to talk about is, yes, we made day one easy. You can pre-configure your entire campus fabric without even a switch going live. Yes, we made day two easy. Abhi talked about the service level expectation, but it's not just about the SLA, about the network being up or down. It's about is the wired client or a wireless client behind an access point having a good experience. Now, what does this all mean from a NAS perspective? The product is easy, whether it's a branch, whether it's a campus, whether it's a wireless LAN network, a wired network, or a WAN network. We have made it very easy with what we've done with Assurance and Marvis. Where we have now taken the next step is even buying that network, making it easy, make it flexible. So now imagine, just like you have a monthly phone plan, you have a monthly network plan. That network could be a branch or branches. That network could be a campus fabric. That network could be a full stack wireless wired WAN. So that's where we've taken now the next step. So it's all about how the AI driven enterprise, full stack, wireless wired WAN, branch campus, available now as a monthly service. What does this mean for you or for our customers and our partners? You now have the ability to access the AI technology to your benefit with a much, much affordable phone, like almost like a phone plan, right? You're able to pay as you grow. You don't have to buy upfront for your entire deployment. You buy what you need, and as you scale up, you already saw the configuration model letting you add new sites, new pods without impacting your current network. Even the first <coughs> option now becomes in line with that. You buy as you grow, you pay as you grow. It's very simple. And last but not least, again, our focus on the user experience stays throughout this, even with our network as a service model. So the technology is easy, it's easy to use, easy to deploy. Now even buying it is becoming easier. What does this mean? It means zero upfront cost. No longer do you have to buy, you know, we support CapEx models today. We support CapEx plus OpEx model today where some of our customers, our partners want to own the hardware and just buy the subscriptions. Now we're offering the ability for our customers and our partners who are providing managed services to buy hardware and software as, again, a monthly plan. So no heavy upfront costs if you wanted to go that route. It's scalable. You have the power of cloud behind you. You have the power of the microservices architecture behind you. Again, full stack, wireless wired WAN, branch campus, all available as part of this offering. It's turnkey. Now let's talk a little bit about what does it mean to be turnkey. Are we now offering an SLA? Are we now offering a solution that every customer who wants to deploy or take benefit of this NAS offering has to buy a managed service from Juniper? Absolutely not. As you can see from a technology stack perspective, AI Ops now is at your fingertips to make provisioning, deployment, and operating the network easy. So what we have done is, if you would like a turnkey solution with a full SLE and SLA guarantee, that's where we leverage our partners, our key managed service providers to offer you that SLA, leveraging our technology in the back end. But at the same time, there are quite a few customers who want to manage their network themselves. Does that mean they cannot avail of this offering? They absolutely can. So now even those customers who want to manage their own networks and use our AI technology to see how we are meeting the service level expectation, but a user can now access a monthly plan. No longer does it have to be a managed offering only. And this is what gives you the flexibility of, of who we offer and how we offer. This is also what gives you the competitive edge in terms of access to the latest technology at your fingertips with a very, very easy procurement plan. Now let's, I'll give you a quick demo here as well. And here the focus is, what do we do from a, managed partner perspective. So we have, like I said, partners who, could, who are service providers who are providing this offering to their customers and they're providing the knock and sock to give you the full SLA and the SLE. Uh, SLE again being not just network uptime, but the user experience measurement. So from an MSP perspective, a managed service provider perspective, we have the full AOPS dashboard where they can see all the customers, what their network usage is, what are the subscriptions, when are they expiring, and when they have to build them for a new, et cetera, when they're coming to capacity. But even more importantly, what helps them meet that SLE? Again, I always take it back to the service level experience versus just network uptime, because that's what every other vendor does today, is even at a managed service level, the MSP knows exactly how the network is doing, 
No matter what component you have, wireless, wired, or WAN, branch or campus, for every user at an SLE level. So here are all your customer orgs, and if I look at an aggregate view of our full stack network, here you can see for my full stack customers, how is my network doing as measured from a user experience perspective? And then the management provider knows exactly what Maris actions are being called out. So they know what to take care of even before the customer calls them. So this is again how easy we've made it, the power of Marvis available to the MSP to make sure they can meet the SLA guarantee as well as the SLE that we bring to the table with our technology stack. Now taking it even a step further, is from a do-it-yourself customer perspective, who is procuring this service, or even our managers as providers, and what dashboard do they show their customers? What we've done for that is built a very, very simple view of our DAS offering. And here, Abhi, if you don't mind. There we go. So this is a very simple view for a customer who's procuring a NAS service, and again, all they care about is, what is my usage, and how is my network doing? So here, this could be a mobile app, this could be a mobile browser, they just go into a link, open it up, and they can see exactly how many APs, how many switches, how many WAN edges they're using. If it's a single deployment, they can see the details of that. If it's a global deployment with multiple branches, multiple campuses, they can see exactly where it is. But things become even more interesting. Again, it's not just about network uptime, right? Where do we differentiate? It's about the user experience. So even for our end customers who are looking at our NAS portal, when they are buying this service, what they will see is in their fingertips, in the palm of their hand, what is my wireless SLE like from a pre-connection perspective, from a post-connection perspective? What is my wired SLE like from a, again, a pre-connection perspective, a post-connection perspective? How is my WAN network doing? Is my circuit up? Are my applications doing well, whether they're in the data center or in the SaaS? How is my overall downstream network doing? Do I have a WAN bad, do I have a bad WAN link? Do I have a bad application? And they already know all this, again, because of the power of the technology. And last but not least, overall view of client usage, traffic usage, any tickets that are open, and what is their overall subscription usage like? So yes, you get all the details and all the visibility from the MIS portal, but from a NAS offering perspective, we've tried to simplify the buying methodology, making it OPEX only, and even from a viewing perspective, imagine the mid-market customers who don't want to worry about the you know, behind the scenes what's happening, they just want to say, hey, how is my network doing? The NAS portal solves the problem for them in the palm of their hands. Juniper, Mist always try to make it easy, whether it's day zero, day one, day two, and now making buying even easier and operating your networks by the palm of your hand. So thank you for that. How Any questions? How mature is this offering? And do you have customers using it already? Or we do have customers using it already. So far, our go-to-market has been through our partners where they leverage our tech stack, and that's where you saw the MSP uh, sure. facing dashboard. This is now what we're introducing to our customers who are doing their, managing their network themselves, but want to take a benefit of the NAS offering, so. Okay. For the NAS offering, do customers or MSPs have the option to decide when they want to upgrade certain hardware. So if Juniper comes out with a new switch, can I automatically say as a customer, I want to bring that into my network? Or Great is that a, a Juniper yeah. decision? It is, no, it's absolutely a customer decision, but it's just like your, your phone plan, right? When a new iPhone comes out or a new Google Pixel comes out and you say, hey, I have this Google Pixel I bought like six months ago, but I want the new one. Sure, upgrade your phone plan, you get that. The same methodology works here as well. Okay. Thank you. Uh, to use that analogy, though, if we're going to go down the phone plan, uh, how flexible is the as-a-service model in terms of is it still a term commitment since obviously hardware is being delivered to the customer site, or is it something that they can be much more flexible and say, I need something for so I need it for 24 months? So again, I'll take, back, take it back to your phone plan. For most of your phone plans where you see you're leasing the, the hardware and the data plan and service, it's a two-year contract. Mm -hmm. Very similarly, we can do one year, three year, five year. Uh, three year preferred, that's where we see the speed spot, but you're paying monthly, right? And if you want, let's say, for whatever reason, terminate early, just like a phone plan, there's a termination clause. Okay, so. thank you. No problem. Now, with network as a service, are we talking primarily connectivity as a service or also security? as a service if we want to overlay some of the, the security components as well. 
security absolutely so as part of our sd wan offering what we call sd wan sassy as you know juniper has a full portfolio for secure edge along with sd wan so you can procure that also as a service so anything that juniper sells essentially can be procured as a service security included on top of connectivity